Hi there, this is the beautiful Polgar trap in the Rossellino variation of the Sicilian and it's from the incredible game Judith Polgar against Pavlina Chilingirova, Saloniki 1988. E4 and the Sicilian with C5, Knight F3, Knight C6 and now what has become the main line here, the Rossellino variation with Bishop B5. Many defences at black's disposal, one of the main ones being g6. Black wants active play by fianchettoing the king's bishop to g7. After castles and bishop g7, Polgar goes for c3, which aims at striking at the centre with d4. So black can try to prevent this with e5, but still the most common move in this position is d4 nonetheless, which might give up a pawn but opens up offensive lines for white. Well, black will usually take back with the, will take on d4 with a c pawn, but here we're looking at e takes on d4. After c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, offering a trade of minor pieces, which white happily accepts. Knight takes d4. Black can take with the bishop or with the c pawn. The c pawn slightly more popular because it does control the c3 square, prevents that knight from leaping into the game um, because it does have some rather attractive outposts on d5, for example. Here Polgar plays energetically and actively with e5, which blocks off the defense of the bishop to the pawn. And if the bishop were to capture the pawn on e5, then rook e1 looks like a serious threat. Black develops with knight e7, and after bishop g5 pinning the knight, black castles, and Polgar now recaptures the pawn on d4. Knight c6 looks extremely um, logical in a sense that it targets the white queen while at the same time offers up the black queen, but perhaps more to the point would have been knight to f5. That's actually a better square. After this knight c6 move, Polgar avoids the trade of queens and brings the queen to h4, defending the bishop, maintaining the threat on black's queen on d8. So she runs out of trouble to b6, which hits the bishop on b5. Knight c3, a logical developing move, defending the bishop on b5. And black's next move is bishop takes on e5, suspect and dubious better might have been just to play d5 in the center that looks actually better if bishop takes on e5 it does look logical in that it threatens bishop takes on c3 removing the guard on the bishop on b5 so it has some offensive logic which polgar totally ignores and plays rook a e1 the threat for Polgar now might be the same, removing the guard bishop takes on c6 in order to strike at e5. But black gets in there first with bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, and now winning the piece, queen takes on b5. But Polgar had calculated and had planned queen h6, which threatens, so it would seem, bishop f6 with a mate threat on g7. Well, that's got to be stopped. So black plays queen to f5 to prevent that. But black had obviously missed this finish. Queen takes on f8. All foreseen by Polgar several moves earlier. Queen takes f8 because after king takes f8, white wins with bishop h6 check. Obviously the e file is covered. So the king goes back to g8 and rook e8 is checkmate. So this has been the Polgar Trap in the Rossellimo variation of the Sicilian. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.